Hello, my name is Brian Cooper, and this is module two, using the engineering design process for soil erosion models. So, um, so we asked the question, how does soil and land cover impact the infiltration of runoff? So I used the model, uh, using the model of my runoff watershed simulation, I decided to compare three types of land coverage, forest, grassland, and barren land. I then grabbed the data I got for runoff and water infiltration against different soil infiltration rates. So what I noticed from this data is that the more land coverage and higher soil infiltration rate results in less water loss from runoff. On the left-hand side here, you can see this compares soil inf infiltration rate to water runoff. On the right side here, this is water infiltration in the soil versus the soil infiltration rate, which I noticed from the data that the more land coverage and higher soil infiltration rate results in a greater amount of water infiltrated into the soil. So before we continue, I just want to share the uh, PA Environment and Ecology Standard that I chose, which examines the interactions between abiotic and biotic factors within a watershed. And uh, the main bullet point that we focus on is in the middle, which says describe how vegetation affects water runoff vegetation in this sense being uh, the land coverage. So next in the process, we need to imagine. So I, so I know that more land coverage from the data means less runoff. The more runoff would result in more soil erosion. So I need to create a system that shows this. So I imagine that maybe if I test different land coverages, I will see how much erosion has occurred, which can be an indicator of runoff. So now I plan, so I get three water bottles that I cut open and I put the same soil type in each one. Then in one of them, I do some land coverage with uh, mulch. In the other one, I do even more land coverage with um, grass. So varying degrees of land coverage. I then have water here, oh, cups here, that will collect the water that I'll pour into each one and whatever comes out of the bottles after watering each one uh, will result in, uh, so what it will tell me is that the cloudier the water that results in these cups means the more soil erosion, which means more runoff. So then I created a prototype. Here's what I created. And you can see that there, uh, that the more land coverage that there is, in this case being the grass, to clear the water. Uh, the cloudier the water means that there was more runoff uh, leading because, because of uh, the soil erosion that resulted. So how can I improve this? This design only shows the difference between land coverage, not soil infiltration, infiltration. So this can be improved by using the differing soil types with the same land coverage. And exact measurements of how much water is poured and how much water is collected could give us a better understanding. So now we announce, um, do an analysis with the STEM practices. So for science, we ask questions and we ask the question in the beginning of how, um, what the impact was uh, on um, infiltration and on land coverage, how, 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 how they impact. Uh, we made a model or we used, we actually used a model and made a model. So we used a model uh, on the internet using the watershed simulator. And we made a model by actually creating uh, the model of different land coverages using the water bottles. And this involved planning and carrying out investigation. investigation. So I had to plan it out and I investigated. And I analyze, analyze and interpret data. So not only did I analyze and interpret data from the simulation, but looking at the result of the cloudier versus the less cloudier to the least cloudiest, uh, gave me an indicator of runoff. Um, and then also I had to become aware of this te technological systems, which covers technology, uh, which was the watershed sim simulator. And I had to use appropriate tools strategically. Uh, there was nothing telling me that I had to use uh, or make a graph, but I used a math tool in order to kind of visualize and have a better understanding uh, the impacts. So 
Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. I look forward to watching your videos. Thank you.